Well, there you can see we actually got a pretty decent snowfall. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to, to test out our Toro battery powered snowblower. I'll show you what it can do with about 10 inches or 12 inches of snow out there. That Toro PowerClear E21 is what we've been using. All right, so this Toro Flex Force 60 amp is about 20 inches wide and its height is right at a foot. So there's the driveway. It's a three car at the top, two car at the very bottom. And so that's about 1100 square feet for a driveway, not including the walkway there. And then the sidewalk there, we can go ahead and walk that. So typically when it snows, I also use the snowblower on the sidewalk. And this sidewalk is quite a distance there, you can see. It's about 350 feet from one end to the other. And uh, the path is, I, I make one pass there and one pass back. And so that's about a cl another close to another 1100 square feet. So easily the combined here is over 2000 square feet. I wanted to show you how much ground we could cover using this uh, battery powered snowblower after a really good snowfall. We got about 10 to 12 inches in this most recent snowfall. This little Toro snowblower is really uh, pretty quiet um, compared to all, all the other snowblowers in my neighborhood. It's, it's really a remarkable difference. And that in and of itself is really nice. My first attempt at it was started during the day and, uh, and I got pretty much the entire sidewalk and just got started on the driveway. Then had to go and recharge. And so that was probably a little over a thousand square feet and then recharged it. it took another what three hours or so to charge the battery and then i was back at it again at night you can see you can see here the wind was blowing so hard that i had, i only did passes in one direction and then i would walk backwards and do it again so and that whole time the snowblower is is running and that battery is you know putting out juice so it's one of those things that uh if on a perfect day when the wind wasn't blowing, I could make passes much more efficiently. I did a little over a thousand square feet on the first battery charge, and then a little, uh, a little less than a thousand square feet on the second battery charge at night. In our particular case here, I would say one charge lasted about 1,200 square feet. And even though, even using the lights at night and being really inefficient, it still did really well. And you can see those lights there. They do a really good job at night. You can see in this video, the, the difference between the lights being on and the lights being off on the snowblower is really quite remarkable. So uh, yeah, they're just, they're just little LED lights, but they do a, a really good job. snowfalls that often uh, where we live in the Midwest but uh, when we do it's nice to have a, a little something to get rid of them and this snowblower really gets the job done doesn't take up a lot of space the handle collapses uh, so it's it's really space efficient as well as energy efficient and, and so uh, yeah you can see that uh, after we got this snowfall it was it was really able to do the work we needed to do and and basically get all this done. I sure hope this video helps. Hey, if you would give us a thumbs up, if you got anything out of it, it helps our videos along, and we really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We've got more videos coming. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.